There are five fencing and martial arts channels I follow regularly. There are a few others I hit from time to time, but these five are my current favorites and I'd like to recommend them to you. Now, none of the channels I'm gonna tell you about are, are paying me to review them or anything. They don't even know I'm doing it. I'm, I'm just gonna do it. Matt Easton is a dealer in antique arms. He provides a wide range of content, including military history, fencing, combat, sports, martial arts, uh, antique swords and weapons, movie and TV fights. Now, now, he sometimes addresses topics outside my scope of interest. But when it comes to fencing and sword fighting, I don't necessarily agree with him on everything, but uh, almost everything. I find Mr. Easton to be amiable and articulate, and he displays an impressive breadth and depth of knowledge. I particularly enjoy his uh, mental inventory of minutiae regarding the construction and use of weapons during various historical periods. If I had a question on that subject, well, he'd be the first guy I'd ask. Jesse Enkamp calls himself the Karate Nerd. He grew up in his parents' dojo and he's been practicing karate practically since birth, and it shows. Mr. M. Camp has been on a sort of martial arts odyssey that's taken him to a lot of different places to try a lot of different things. And he's documented that journey for us in a way that's both entertaining and educational. I think he's a pretty good filmmaker. His videos have high production values and he's a superb showman. He also describes himself as a carrot cake connoisseur so, you know, that makes us practically blood brothers. This channel is about Kobudo Asayama Ichidenru. It's run by a guy named Shogo and focuses on lessons provided by Seki Nobuhide. Now, he's a very accomplished teacher. This is Japanese swordsmanship, Kenjutsu stuff. The katana techniques the master demonstrates don't directly apply to Western swordsmanship. But if you squint a little bit, there's a lot in there that you can adapt to saber or rapier or tire iron. The reason I like this channel is very simple. I love to watch the master move. It's not what he does, it's the way that he does it. His centeredness, the way he flows, the, the way he makes everything look just effortless, smooth natural. He swings a sword the way Chet Baker plays the horn, man. And for me, there's nothing more compelling than seeing a true master of his art perform it. It's like he's always in the zone. I mean, I think maybe I've had a few moments of, of being in that place, but I was only passing through. I sure wouldn't mind having an apartment there. When it comes to the science of combat, you can't beat Tony Blower. Now he's done his share of combat sports, but today his focus is on real fighting in the real world, hardcore self-defense. He's trained everyday people and he's trained violence professionals. He's all about early pattern recognition, weaponizing the flinch reflex and fear management. Now for me, it's that last part, that last part I find particularly useful. He calls it the fuck fear system. So, you know, we speak the same language. If I had kids, this is the guy I'd send them to for self-defense training. The Academy of Ideas is, is not a martial arts channel. Not exactly. See, there's more to martial arts than swinging a sword or a quick kick in the head. There's the big picture. There's the question of how all this martial arts shit fits into the world, morally, ethically. How can we use our martial prowess to make the world a better place, and not a worse one? At the Academy of Ideas, you'll discover very well-written and very well-illustrated content on psychology, philosophy, religion and mythology, and self-development. If you're a true martial artist, you're gonna have to kumite with your inner demons sooner or later. 
This channel is your dojo. Like the man said, free your mind and your ass will follow. As I'm sure you know, there are approximately 30 zillion fencing and martial arts YouTube channels. And they range in quality from, from dazzling brilliance to bewildering bullshit. Some of them you couldn't pay me enough money to watch. But these are the five that I, I'd pay money for. Do yourself a big favor. Check them out.